hi guys in this video I will be demonstrating data loss prevention and encryption in office 365 if your organization is using office 365 then this is a fantastic tool when it comes to data security and data protection it protects any sensitive information which may be in the risk of leaking outside to another organization or just outside the organization if you have a trial version of office 365 then you can do this as a lab you can just follow it and do the lab so it be very fantastic for you to practice it and be you know up to date in terms, in terms of data security especially in the cloud so let me get out of this PowerPoint slide and let me show you so this is office 365 okay and I am logged in as Brad here so Brad Sutton the name of the organization is a datum GSP 17894 and in this scenario we are assuming that a datum GSP 17894 provides IT and cloud consultancies to other clients and none of the employees including Brad are supposed to leak or rather disclose any IP addresses as internet protocol IPv4 and IPv6 addresses alongside the names of the companies or their clients they are pro providing support to okay so what happened in this scenario because I said I'm gonna demonstrate it the administrator has already created a DLP data loss prevention policy uh, which protects any sensitive information and in our case the sensitive information is IP address to be leaked out from the organization okay so let me demonstrate this how does that work so if I try to send an email and the message of the in the let's say the message is hey the well, hey the IP address of say blue tech media for example is 172.16.0.10 okay so this is I'm just taking like imaginary all of these things okay so this is our message and really we want to share this information outside our organization so our organization is a datum GSP 17894 but let's say again another imaginary email address say john at gmail.com which is outside our organization and in the subject I will say here is here is your info great now send this email and see what happens so so I immediately received a reply from uh, Microsoft Outlook and if I click on that this says hey a friendly tip from Sam so guess what Sam is the administrator of this organization he has created a data loss prevention policy okay and in that policy if somebody tried to share an IP address externally to the organization that they receive this customized message in the email okay not just that on the other side Sam will receive a message that this guy Brad is trying to share an information outside the organization okay so let me show you in Sam's email um, Sam's email okay great so this is Sam's email as you can see on the top right Samuel's uh, Sam's email okay and the email just received right now so if I click on that it says a match of one or more organization policy rule has detected okay now what we can do uh, at this moment our administrator can open this one so when I say administrator Sam is a global administrator which has got access to all the features and all the rights and yeah you know just a top privilege he's got so if I click on that now Sam can see that Brad is trying to send an email to John which is outside the organization that is gmail.com and information of IP address okay so that is demonstration on Outlook but let me do another demonstration where same policy is protecting OneDrive as well so protecting sensitive information if to be shared on OneDrive as well okay so in OneDrive I have already uploaded this uh, word file let me click and show you what is in that file 
it says the IP address of Google is blah 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 okay great now let me try to share this outside of my organization let me try to share it for example Harry again imaginary one at 360 GSP the moment I click on it it says this item contains sensitive information it cannot be shared and this button you see is disabled normally it's enabled and you can share people you know from out to outside your organization not just that there is a thing called policy tip if a global administrator in our case that is Sam has defined a custom message on policy tip you can see that tip here so let me click on it yeah there's no message has been defined at the moment but yes you can see that that has been restricted to be shared yeah so this is what DLP does okay so now going forward let's go back in the slides great so what you have seen that firstly DLP identifies sensitive information in our case it's IP address okay great now not just that DLP actually uh, identifies sensitive information on exchange online outlook okay SharePoint online OneDrive for business and mic uh, Microsoft teams as well okay so all this then once it's identified the information it prevents accidental sharing of sensitive information so in our case it blocked the email to be sent out and in OneDrive it blocked the send button it grayed the send button out so it cannot be sent okay now once it does it it also monitor and protect sensitive information on desktop version of Excel PowerPoint and Word so probably your colleagues are using uh, you know all these all these softwares and probably if they try to send that file again or try to share the file with anywhere outside the organization then DLP will kick in and more importantly it keep informing user that hey you're not supposed or you're not allowed to share these files so they it keep informing users so you, they can stay compliant and as you could see that the global administrator receive all the reports that who's trying to share what okay as you Sam Sam could see in his email okay so now this is it now let me show you something related to this website I'm gonna open this website and I'm going to show you okay so let's say let's open the website here okay and okay so let me scroll down and I want to show you oh yeah here solution and let's say safeguarding data and let's say data protection and if I scroll down I want to highlight this thing just have a read it says that DLP tools help protect such as HIPAA related and GDPR data okay so HIPAA is very much so I have made a Google search already for you and in United States there's a legislation HIPAA is a legislation in United States that provides data privacy and security provision for safeguarding, safeguarding medical information okay but we need to be more concerned about GDPR because if you are giving an IT support anywhere in the Europe anywhere in UK then your organization needs to be compliant in terms of GDPR to protect your customers data personal data I'm talking about okay so I have opened this website here ready for you it says that anything that discloses you know your customers identity that is unique to them that needs to be protected as per GDPR okay now why am I showing you that is because if I scroll down a little bit it says IP address now this does contributes as an identity of a customer now IP address itself by itself it doesn't really you know it doesn't really contribute to what said but combined with a name of a business or name of a customer or probably postcode or address okay in that case all IP addresses should be treated as personal data in order to be GDPR compliant okay you can read all about it all you have to do is 
to go on eugdprcompliant.com and the, all this information is being given there so the whole idea i was doing the demonstration earlier is yes ip address itself needs to be protected okay right also i want to highlight one more thing so when you look into this thing you see right hand side there's a picture here okay in this picture you see that somebody is trying to send a file to Lee Gu and somebody has attached a file called German passport and there's a red dot underneath the file okay so yes when people try to send an attachment this DLP does detect that if that file is against the com you know company's policy if you're trying to send trend, trying to send that outside your organization beforehand it detects it and give a signal as a red signal underneath a red dot underneath to the sender or to the employees of your organization right so this was all about demo now how to do it okay so let's do that so let me close all this stuff before we configure this right let's close it okay so you can do this lab if you have a trial version or even you can do it if even if you have a you know uh, ongoing subscription of for office 365 okay so I am logged in as a Sam Sam is Sam is a global administrator so Sam can create a DLP data loss prevention and encryption policy for that I would need to go in admin center so if I click on that In admin center you need to scroll down a little bit here and go in separate like you know other admin center and then when you scroll down you see something called compliance so DLP is all about security data security and compliance which your company needs to be follow so if you click on compliance and you will get to this you know another admin center of compliance okay so the page is loaded now and when you come to this page all you have to do is click on policies and search for DLP or data loss prevention okay now let's click on that data loss prevention when you click on data loss prevention you will be directed to another page where you can start config configuring the policy not just that this is the page gives you full insight okay so let me tell you this is the policy which I have created and I was demonstrating it to you okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna delete this policy and I'm gonna create it again with you here okay so let's delete the policy right so once it's deleted this is gonna take time to delete so it is deleting at the moment it could take about half an hour to delete because now Office 365 has to speak to all the platform like Exchange Online, Teams, OneDrive to take the policies off. Okay, right. So, time to create the policy. Okay, so in here you have to click on Create Policy, and now you have got tons of ready-made format here, which you know you can choose from and I really mean tons of they have got sub subcategory as well okay but what we will be doing it we gonna be creating a policy for our company and that's gonna be a custom policy and I will show you all this format in custom policies as well but guess what those policy will contain all GDPR compliant policy as well okay so that's great so let me click on custom policy here custom and click on next right it says friendly name friendly name okay I would say that uh, rest restricting IP address sharing to outsiders great okay now description of the policy so this policy will this policy will will block users order. 
okay so it can be any description here so this is just description for myself really let's go on all we need to know we need to remember the name of the policy because this will be reflecting in here in the background it should be appearing here later later not now okay now next thing is that once you define the name of your policy we need to choose the location when I say location now by default this will be applied the policy will be applied on all these platforms but I can actually choose and I can say that you know what I don't want that policy to be applied on teams because I know my employees never never speak to any outsider on Microsoft Teams so I may want to take that policy off from there but it's up to me I can also choose the accounts that which you know which employees they can be exempt from the policies okay so by default it will be applied to everybody and I leave it as it is okay but for the moment just for argument sake I have taken that policy or I have chosen that policy not to be applied on team set but yes it will be applied on all these platforms okay now click on next and we need to define some settings for the policy you can read it above now two options find the find contents that contains and we will find the content content that contains IP address here and then it will be applied that uh, with the people outside my organization so it will detect that and it will block it or you can go in much more advanced settings at this at this stage I'm just simply gonna choose edit and I will want to add some sensitive information types here once I add it I will click on add again and guess what these are all the ready-made policies they are there policies in the sense that data format okay so as per I was telling you about GDPR now this list keep getting bigger and bigger my Microsoft if anything new comes on GDPR they will bring it here and they will put it here okay so at the moment we need to choose that data type rather the format of the data which would be IP address simply I'm gonna scroll it down and find out IP address we should be here okay so IP address great right in now I can simply click on add and I can simply click on done I don't want to add more data types in here just IP address minimum accuracy let's keep it to 1 200 and all looks good click on save and click on next once you click on next here you are you can customize the tip and the email so if I click on next I simply want to customize the email that somebody trying to send an IP address in the email either in attached file or in a message he will get this message that hey please please do not share IP address address or addresses to outsiders and you can say thanks and you can say same okay now that is fine do you want to allow policy tips if you want to create some customized policy tips then this will reflect in places like OneDrive and all that the moment somebody try to share the file with any external user okay so I will leave as it is because remember if you if you rewind this video you would see that the policy tips it says nothing been defined I will leave as it is I'm simply gonna put one message okay and click on OK now once you click on OK then this is very important you need to define at least how many times that IP address should be like mentioned in any message email or attached file or any 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 of those four platforms you are talking about three platform in this case now so at least ten times no 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 let's say at least one time even if once IP address is entered this policy will kick on and block everything okay now if user try to send one IP address a minimum one IP address okay to somebody in organization who should get notification so normally as you know Sam is global administrator and Sam should be getting notifications let me click on this 
and it says who should get it I can add or remove people here I'm fine with this and what kind of notification Sam is getting so I really want to you know send all kind of notification all information to Sam you can take things off you can read as it is I mean you can read all of them at the moment I will keep them all selected let's click on OK click on next no 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 wait now in here you need to take this restrict access or encrypt the content okay this will restrict oh, this will block people from sharing and restrict access to shared contents restrict access of external users we are talking about not the people within the organization okay now this looks all good make sure your settings looks exactly like this click on next and yeah this looks all good just click on next yep um, yeah finally the last option you will be reviewing that do you want to turn that policy on right away yes I don't want to test it let's turn it on right away okay and click on next you can review all the policies here but I'm pretty sure <coughs> all the settings are fine so I'm just gonna create it now once it's created it will take some time 15 to 20 minutes to be implemented because remember we have chosen this policy to be implemented on three different platforms. you know uh, exchange online OneDrive and or the other place we have chosen it not to be implemented on team okay the poly the policy is now displayed here yep which is great status is on but it as I said earlier that it's not implemented right now it's gonna take some time okay but I have done the demonstration guys so hashtag GDPR hashtag data protection hashtag cloud security data protection in cloud all that can be done through data loss prevention in office 365 It's a fantastic tool to prevent the data have a go on it practice it whatever you do what wherever you giving your IT support you're gonna need it Thanks for watching the video.